All right. So, like I said, you find yourself here after taking care of these goblin bandits. You find yourself licking your wounds and drinking to your victory at the inn of the cage, it's called. Um, in the town of Red Tower, which is a small, small town, um, kind of on the outskirts of what's called the White Forest, which is a large interior forest on the continent of Midgard. And you don't know much about it other than it seems to be a pleasant little, pleasant little uh, river town. I had this cool picture. You could see the red tower in it. So what are you guys doing? Anything in particular as you're hanging around me in there? So for us, um, have we been traveling on the road a little bit? Are we, are we like, you know, looking around, looking for employment? Are we, you know, um, what's going on here? Do you think for us? That's a good question. Like, um, what do you guys think? Like, say, that, so say that comes up, that, com that, that question comes up, like, you know, we defeated those goblins pretty good. Maybe we could make some money. <laughs> Does anyone object to that? What are, what are your thoughts? Yeah. My character, the Tuskuli, kind of is, is um, like you know, in the last fight, like in, the, in the last drop, it's been known that you know, they'll, they'll stick around, they'll stick around, they'll you know work with things because, um, a, they don't really talk much, as you found out. Um, but and and you see here in the shifting light of the uh, and like in the, in the probably dimly not too well lit <laughs> in, right? Um, it's kind of. Their features kind of come in and out. They're strange bug-like features, and sometimes you can swear that they're gone for a moment before they their features come back into sight into view. Mm. Um, they're here. They're willing to come along with you guys. Um, they they want to have a crew that can do good work without expecting them to do much of the you know talking. Um, my characters. A little bit more serious. He's not very, surprisingly, not very talkative. Um, you pick up slowly that it's because he doesn't know common. Who here speaks um, Elvish and can communicate with uh, Seok? Wow. Mm. 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 So, uh, are you the only one that can communicate with uh, Siak? Tony? Nope. 
I speak no. Okay. <laughs> oh no no. So, I only speak Hobbit. I would. I guess my 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 character was a, a desert. I think a desert runner, like working in the in like you know as a slight uh across the across the sands like, like before mm-hmm. moving on um and maybe maybe the the trips took them around to some are there any desert elves <laughs> i don't know let's see let's see because that could be a let's see desert elves there are there are desert elves <laughs> yeah, I don't know exactly what he's saying, so I'm just like. So well, I, I think I'm along. I, I think it'd be kind of, I think it'd be kind of funny. I think I'll I'll have the one of the two, one of the 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 languages I know is the time of the desert runner be elvish for the desert elves. But I think it'd be funny if like my character really knows it well, listening to it. But when they try to speak it, they can. But it's very grating and very <laughs> not pleasant to listen to for an elf. <laughs> Great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about you, uh, uh, Shino? Uh, what, are we just talking about what we're doing right now? Yeah. Um, since I'm a back alley rat, um, I try to find... Uh, Places in the neighborhood where I see a, like homeless people or hurt people, um, as uh, I'm like a self trained healer, and so like I try to help these people out, um, but because I know nobody will help them, so I'm doing it begrudgingly. Like, man, why don't you get a job? <laughs> nice, why, why, why don't you heal yourself? Like. I don't see why I have to do this for you, kind of type of person. Um, but um, yeah, just seems like a really, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's just what I'm doing. <laughs> As you guys are talking, you, you keep the, the bartender keeps, uh, the innkeeper slash bartender keeps kind of glancing over at you. Yeah. A, f- a few too many times. It, it's almost like a little bit, uh, like why? What, what's this guy's uh, problem? But he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't seem aggressive or anything. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, the innkeeper is looking at us and everything like that. Yeah. 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 Um, you would be pretty like, accustomed to getting I, looks. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think my character doesn't really notice it because, like, yeah, that's what always happens. Like, this is, this is my life. <laughs> but, oh, that's, an, that's an actually an important thing. Uh, I was reading, doing more reading, and it turns out that the schoolie don't see themselves as, like, individuals because they came from the hive, right? Whoa, yeah. So, like, like in the schoolie, even, even the cast out ones, they refer to themselves as, in the third person and really prefer being in a group. Huh. I think that's the situation. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So it sounds like you have plenty of motivation to want to be with with these yeah, guys. Like primal instinct of need to be in a... Uh, oh, uh, Sayok, have you picked all your spells? Um, there's... Because we're starting at two, um, I'm still trying to pick oh. two more spells. Yeah, no worries. I was just curious because it says, like, pick wizard spells. So I wanted to make sure you knew. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll up it right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, let's start by doing a... Give me an, uh, an insight check. Just to start. Gonna be- so if you go to your character sheet and you click on insight, I'll do one that'll be, it won't count, 
But if I click on insight on your character sheet, it'll actually go ahead and roll into the chat. And I can show that. And everyone would see that you yeah, got a five. Ahead. Yeah. That'll be in your skills list. You got to go to your character sheet and uh, near the top of the long character sheet is what is where you'll it has all the, it's like a list of all these things. Okay. Now, give me your... Uh, can you read for me? Well, oh, actually, I found it. At second level, you gain an uncanny sense of when things nearby aren't as they should be. Um, so you get advantage on deck saving throws um, against effects that you can see, like traps or spells. Okay, cool. Um, so that doesn't really apply here, but the insight check does tell you some information about his motives. And you're able to glean that the innkeeper wants something from you. It's not malicious. He, he's trying to kind of size you up, and, and he, wants, he wants to ask you a favor. Yeah, he 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 seen he looks over at you and he says, "Ah. Well, there is there is one thing that I was uh you look like you look like a, quite an adventurer. Uh you and your friends he's kind of, you know, stumbling over his words. You and your friends He says, oh, uh, excellent. And he, he, he puts out his hand. He introduces you as uh, uh, Ambrosi Jerkowski. And he says, uh, <laughs> he's a human man. He says, I, uh, I, I don't, didn't want to bother anyone, but there was a gentleman here by the name of Ikbon. Uh, let me look up his name, actually. I want to get it right. Yeah. Can I, can I, can I roll like stealth just to walk up to them, not to do anything? I just want to be like all mm. of a sudden there. <laughs> can I do that real quick? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how do I roll in this thing? Uh, if you go to the character sheet and you click on the stealth ability, it'll roll it into the chat for you. Zero. Let's see. Let's see. A Ooh. one. <laughs> you <Ooh>. trip. <laughs> not very stealthy. Um, yeah, I my wings get caught in the in the in the in one of the chairs. Yeah, um, but I will say that the, the guy looks at you. and He says, "There was a fellow here, a halfling, some sort of naturalist, I believe. He was collect. He, he said he was collecting samples from the countryside, and he hasn't returned to pay his bill. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, I, he was muttering on about." about uh, a certain rare flower that grows over by the old, uh, the old Scarlet Citadel. He, uh, you, know how the, you know how those academics are. I, uh, I didn't understand every other word out of his mouth, but I, he didn't seem like the sort who'd skip out on his bill. I, I'm a little worried about him, to be honest. He says, "Well, I, I, I suppose I'd be happy to hand over the, uh, the, uh, the payment if you find him. The payment he owes me for the room, um, it'll be uh, twenty gold. He's been here for a good month or so." It's not a huge amount. It's an amount. Yeah, you know, maybe a hundred bucks. Yeah. 
<laughs> he said, I would be so grateful. I, I don't want to have my... Uh, I don't want to gain a reputation for uh, disappearing our guests. I think for me, um, you see my character just like try to get back up, you know, you know, just shrug off that that critical one, that critical failure, <laughs> um, and like you know, kind of like compose themselves and look at you, and then they kind of totally nod as the wings kind of twitch a little bit. They're in agreement. Hmm. Um, my character is kind of oblivious and just kind of like interested to doing whatever, honestly. He's lived long enough, it appears, to just kind of go along with it. Free will is kind of a new thing. And, uh, you, uh, Free, free wheel's a new thing. Uh, you suppose that uh, you're not sure which, you know, if if this guy is affiliated with a with a university, like one of the universities in Zobek or uh, one of the guilds of, uh, you know, of uh, herbalists, that kind of thing, you could also potentially get a reward there, but you just don't know. Mm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so. anything else you guys want to do this evening I'm assuming you want to set off in the morning mm -hmm. yeah. oh yeah um, just so you know uh, Kyle. sure <laughs> <laughs> what was that uh, wait Siak um, just talking to the end. Um, for the heroic, heroic feet, I chose the all powerful keen mind. So, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The DM's worst, worst nightmare. Indeed. Okay, good to know. He picked a uh, keen mind. Uh, uh. So, I have a mind that can track time, direction, and detail with uncanny precision. You gain the ability to always know which way is north, know the number of hours left until next sunrise or sunset, and I can accurately recall anything you have seen or heard within the past month. <laughs> oh, I see. It's in classic, I can, too. Yeah, I can see how that last one can you know. Put the DM on the spot. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I know yeah. this. <laughs> Tell me about that. Yeah. Let so me. My, oh, my character's agreement saying, "Like we will follow." I wanted Good. to get a little calendar here, real quick. Okay. Let's, so I can let you know, uh, as Gary Gygax, the inventor of D and D, famously said, a 
A meaningful campaign cannot be had without the careful keeping of the time. <laughs> oh, by so the way, it's out of my name. Oh, nice. That's what is your name? Uh, Tekotani. Tekotani. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, Tony. <laughs> yes. Let's see. One sec. Yeah. Okay, cool. Here we got all our guys. All right. So. Um, it will be oh, wait. What the heck is a scoundrel? So I'm going to officially set the date. It'll be uh, the the seventh of chess. And I'll put that in the uh, in the chat here. Some chess. Oh, that's how you do handouts. Okay. All right, the seventh of chess, and we're using the uh, Forgotten Realms calendar, so. The, the, each month is made up of three 10 day weeks. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And the weeks are normal. Oh, you said 10 day weeks. Got it, got it. Yeah. 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 And so uh, the, this month would be kind of think uh, March, basically. Okay. Things, are, things are warming up soon ish, maybe like in a yeah. month or two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, that's good. Good for All my right. character. I just like the cold too, too much. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, uh, you want to do anything before you set off for the uh, uh, the last known whereabouts of this uh, this uh, Mister Ichbon T Strainer? I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think my my character might be flying up to a roof, looking at the weather, because I, I my character can read the environment to predict the weather patterns and temperatures for the next twenty four hours. Mm. Um, kind of checking the weather, making sure everything's gonna be fine, making sure we're not gonna be blindsided by any storms. Um, so that's that's what they're doing. <laughs> You would know that uh, about 20 hours from now, a storm, you know, a spring storm will be coming through. Okay. Uh, I should say an early, an early, kind of an early spring rainstorm, which could make it difficult for you to track down yeah. the whereabouts of this guy. But well, I'll, let, I'll, let you know, I'll let my team know that, we, our group know that we probably want to... You know, get on him, find him, probably by tomorrow evening, like tomorrow late afternoon, probably by the latest. Then, yeah. Have we asked which direction he was headed previously? The only thing that you heard that that uh, Bernard heard is that he that the guy had been talking about visiting, uh, trying to find a certain flower. That grew, that grew around the old Scarlet Citadel. So you could ask about that if you wanted, or generally ask about rumors. It depends on what you guys want. 
Where where is our money? Is it at the bottom? Um, let's see. I think that, yeah, under, under equipment. Equipment, yeah, equipment. Yeah, click, click equipment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So what I would like to do? What? Well, so are we staying here for the rest of the night? Or are we heading up? Oh, and the the twenty hours from now that was from I thought I thought it was the morning. So, uh, so you would in the morning you'll know that twenty hours from now oh, will be the storm. God, God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess for the rest of the night, um, I stand outside saying um, that I'm a healer, trying to gather a crowd and heal people. And as people are coming, uh, watching me heal people. For free, um, I have my little monkey um, rob people of their gold. It's like uh, Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. Try to get as much gold as I can while performing healing acts. Nice. Give me an animal handling check. See how well your monkey's been trained. 20. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you'll be oh my you'll God. be able to get uh um 12 copper and 8 silver doing this. Wow. That's <laughs> profitable. boys. Before the night's end, how much is a beer? A beer would be, a, you know, uh, two coppers. All right, I'll buy each of us uh, a beer around. Oh, you know, my, my uh, character's like mandibles kind of click as, a, as you get a slight sip in. <laughs> <laughs> my character doesn't need to drink much. Actually, only, my character only needs to drink one. Uh, what, what was his name again? Take Tiny only needs to drink like one gallon of water, like even like in the hot desert. So just a little sips, just a couple little sips, <laughs> and cracking. <laughs> uh with that is there anything else before uh before we uh zoom to the morning nope all right so uh it is now morning uh you know bernard has a raging uh headache <laughs> uh but it the, the the sun has risen some clouds in the sky but but only partly cloudy. Uh, you can easily figure out that the Scarlet Citadel is a an old abandoned fortress, about a half mm. day's walk from the village. Um, By, you mean like twelve hour, like six hour. Oh, like six hour. Yeah, half of like the waking day. Got it. Got it. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, and. Uh, yeah, is there anything you want to do before you leave? Uh, are you guys walking or are you guys mounting? What are you guys doing? Um, are you I think. Walk? Mm, I think I'm flying a little bit, like around your 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 heights. It's like, no, not not too far away, you know. But what's your fly uh, speed? It, what is it? It's like. Feet. Hmm, okay. So you'll go as fast as the slowest person. So 40 feet would be, you'll get there in about five hours. If that's the slowest. So is anyone, uh, is anyone going to have a horse or buy, like buy a horse or that kind of a thing? Horses are for rich people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So who has the lowest speed? Uh, I'll jump on our little bug friend. I'm only three feet and only like forty pounds. I'm only I'm only four feet. 
<laughs> I'm not very tall. <laughs> okay, never mind. I jump on the bear. I'm going to ride him. <laughs> go, go along, Steed. So, uh, six <laughs> hours. <laughs> what yeah. would you say, uh, uh, say, uh, my movement's 30. Okay. So that'd be about an average speed. So about six hours, um, as you get, you know, you kind of follow the path, the main path out of town for the first half of that journey. And then you turn, you were told to turn on a, uh, a small horse track, you know, that now has become overgrown. Uh, probably at one time was much larger, it looks like, but kind of starts sloping up into the hills. Um, and in about a half day's journey, just as you were told, you come across what you can only guess is the Scarlet Citadel. Um, so the structure stands atop a low hill that slopes off gradually all around. The slope is gentle, but the ground is rugged, broken by ravines, boulders, tangled brush, and fallen trees. When the keep was in use, the ground around it must have been cleared for several, several hundred yards in every direction. Since the fort's fall, trees and brush have regrown right up to the fortress, and even inside the courtyard, it looks like. The fort was breached. Um, as you get closer, you can see that the walls are breached at the northwest and southwest corners, but the rest of the walls in the main keep still stand. Okay. okay. The, the outer walls, as you approach, are 15 feet high. And I'm assuming, uh, uh, you know, you guys are a couple hundred, you know, maybe like a couple football fields away still. But this is what you can see from far back like that. Um, outer walls are 15 feet high. The main tower rises 40 feet. And the secondary keep is 30 feet tall, but heavily damaged. Despite the damage and decay, it's easy to see why it was named the Scarlet Citadel. The red stone blocks used in its construction stand out starkly against the greenery. No one comes here anymore except for hopeful adventurers like yourselves. So the old road to the Red Tower is now, the old ro road to the town of Red Tower is now no more than a weed-choked track. So let me put you guys on the map. Oh, I forgot. Uh, you might or might not have gotten a token. Let me see if I remember. Add to map. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. I think I made a token, or at least. That's so Bernard has a nice token. Uh, Sayok and Shino. So Tekotani, once you get a chance. Uh, oh, there's. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, I see. You already have one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In your character sheet, there's an upload token. You can search the web or pick from the few they have. They're not the ones they have aren't aren't that good, but. Can upload it from your computer search, yeah. <coughs> let's see, let's just see how this one looks. So, um, and as, as you look at the token, I'll tell you, uh, you're a little bit further than this, but you could tell from where you are that. See, there's a way, yeah. So this would be kind of the main entrance. However, it does look like there's a collapsed wall here, about like an eight foot tall pile of rubble. And um, I'll say that you knew that there was a collapsed wall back here as well. So Everything is it else is like pretty a, good. Is it just like a mountain of collapsed wall? Or I mean, it's it like, like eight oh, yeah. feet tall of rubble. It looks like it's a little, maybe a slightly dangerous to get up, but not super hard if you had a little bit of dexterity or athleticism. 
Bernard, you want to throw me up? But there's also just an open, like an open, like entryway here as well. Mm. Okay. We want to go through the side entrance. Uh, we can take the agility way out here. That area. Sure. Anyone who's going, uh, who wants to kind of scramble up the the rubble, I'm going to ask for just a, an athletics check. Why don't, why don't you throw me first? But I... <laughs> Can we do that? Uh, you... I'm, I'm 40 pounds. 40 pounds? Yeah, but yeah. you would take falling damage if he just tosses you. Um, <laughs> you know, because you'd be, like, launched. What if I, what if I uh, roll my decks for that? Uh, like, if you want to just uh, go, f you know, That's yeah, you can give me it. But, like, at that point, it's, like, probably harder than just. <laughs> 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 but you can. That is cool. Yeah. Are you just going to scramble up? Yeah, go go for yeah. it. What you got? Okay. Yeah, so you're pretty easily able to scramble up there. No, wait. You're throwing me, right? Or you, you're climbing? So you're climbing? Yeah. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Are you, like, on his back? Yeah, I'm on his back. Okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, you get, you're able to get up into this uh, little, you know, what once was part of the castle, now it's kind of a collapsed building. You can see a little bit a little bit in. Mm. Yeah. Do do I notice any signs of like life or if if anyone's been there for a while? Mm. Uh let's see. Hey, let me read this this uh little description to you and then maybe we okay. could do you could tell me what kind of check like what you're looking for exactly. Okay. Um so the buildings lining the fortress walls were Originally, it looks like barracks, workshops, and stables, that kind of thing. Now they're almost completely in ruins. Their slate-shingled roofs have fallen in, and only portions of the interior walls remain. There are no doors or windows still in their frames. And the original floors are buried under up to a foot of debris. Brush grows from every patch of dirt, and vines drape the ancient walls. So, what are you uh, curious to look for, uh, Tony? Um, just like anyone, re like if I could tell if there's anyone that's recently passed, or um, if there's any been signs of life. Uh, mm. Yeah. Give me a nature check, or a per or a perception check if you're just looking for like tracks and stuff, actually. 11. 11. Let's see. It looks like there's been natural, you know, kind of natural life moving through. Nothing human uh, doesn't appear in this area. Okay. Uh, how about uh, Tekotani and Seok? What are you guys doing? Hanging back? Um, so after Ferdinand's walked up the Slope, I'd kind of look at him and go, Can you help me? I have him give me a hand. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. my, my Discord has been very weird. Let me restart it real fast. Okay. Mine is? You should be able to increase his volume. Uh, if you right click on his name, on his name, yeah. Okay, uh, okay, looks like I actually have access again. Okay, cool. All right, nice. let me raise. Is that better thing? All right, talk again. All right, talk again, what you ask? Oh, uh, so what are you guys doing? So, uh, Sayak is, is uh, are you going to try to scramble up the eight foot slope? Yeah, we're going to try and like 
reach out to someone and be like, help. Pull me off. Uh, give me an athletics check, Sayak. Yeah. Make an advantage with the help of someone else. Not Not really, you, you can't really reach them until you get almost to the top anyway. Because it's a high enough slope. Hmm. Unless they, you know, threw down a rope or something. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, yeah, you slip. And uh, you're going to fall and take uh, seven damage as your leg gets crushed under a shifting block as you, as you tumble down the hill. Goodness. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm not helpful. Before I decide how I re- before I decide how what? I react to this, what are the options? Oh, so uh, Tekotani, you are choosing what to do. Like, there's a, a main entryway, and then but they've gone up, kind of scrambled up the uh, scrambled up the rubble, and after that, Sayak, you're able to get to the top. So I'm not going to make you roll it infinitely. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's only a minus one. That one is huge. <laughs> so what do you think, uh, Alexis? Yeah, I can. But I was wanna, I, that's why I wanted to see the yeah. other... I can fly a little bit. Not not super high and I can't hover. But I can still fly, probably. But I just want to see what were the other options besides the scramble. Uh, yeah, well, cool. definitely flying up. You know, you can kind of float up the, the hill there. That'd be pretty easy. I wouldn't require a check. But there's yeah. also the uh, main gateway here. Oh, okay. I think I might, since they're going that way, I might want to sneakily fly up that way. I'm going to go towards the, the main gateway while trying to be sneaky. Mm. Yeah, and like get, get, it, get it like a, like a different angle of view into wherever's there from, from other people. Yeah, so uh, give me a stealth check. Okay. Okay, well, it's plus seven. I don't, I don't get another one. <laughs> oh, it's a two. <laughs> That's still... Decent with that huge mo- bonus you have. So you kind of see a big chunk of it here. It seems like some sort of courtyard. You can move your little character up if you want. Um, oh, oh, there you go. Just peeking around the corner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is mostly what you guys can see. Big courtyard, a few rooms here. Um, I could talk a little bit about a little bit about what you see um, in the courtyard. There's a couple trees poking up out. Uh, there's a staircase at one side, and it leads off into a couple different, what well, once were buildings, but now are kind of open, open areas ringed by walls. Oh, also looks like the fog of war reset for some of it. It's it. Like. Do you mean see. to only do the small circle or the whole square? Uh, the oh, whole yeah, square. No. Yeah. Okay. This is back, back. Cool, 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 cool. You know what? Yeah, I'm perfect. going to conjure rats, and I'm going to conjure 16 or... Yeah, 16 normal rats, and have them run around and report back to me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Give me one second here. Okay. So you're able to unfog these areas. And uh, I can kind of describe for you what you see here. So... um, there's kind of a darker corner. Not a lot of light gets... It's kind of blocked by trees and overgrowth and walls uh, over here. Um, the rats find a, a really large kind of... what a, Well, let me, let me ask you this. How are they able to communicate with you? Oh, um... That's a good question. <laughs> um, I guess um, by gestures, not not necessarily by words. 
Are they like smart enough to do that effectively? Oh, no. Yeah, but I don't know if that like if rat folk are the same as rats. Uh, for now, I'll just say that they could. Ju- the only thing they could really communicate to you is like danger or no danger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. From the so basically like whether they see something or not, and uh, you do not. They they don't seem to have seen some sort of like a predator. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. What do you guys want to do next? Oh, I could actually summon rat folk. <laughs> rat folk. Yeah. Like, whoa, <laughs> from where? <laughs> Uh, when I conjure rats, but I like, I, I guess I don't know. Where do they come from? Like they're just like sentient people. 